I'm pretty sure that a solid like 80% of my recent comments have been asking for more Encanto. Today I am here to fulfill. This video I won't be watching the movie yet, but I really wanted to hear some more songs to really just focus on the music first and then dive into the movie. Personally, I like seeing what I can extract from songs without necessarily having context for them because I think that can show how well they stand as pieces of work in and of themselves. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I have a Patreon. There are all kinds of cool perks you can get there, including seeing an uncut reaction once per week. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link will be in the description below. Let's, let's get into it. The first one was one of the most requested songs. It's called What Else Can I Do? I just made something unexpected. I'm liking the strums on the guitar. What else can I do? Bring it in, bring it in. That is, that is big. I like it. Those two different kind of vocal tones working together is really nice to hear. I like the Spanish rhyming in conjunction with the English. The bop here is already big and it's a pre-chorus. So nice! Oh, half time! Why does this sound like the cranberries? I'm so into it. There's one thing I'm noticing here that I like about this song, but also that I've really enjoyed about Encanto in general so far. It feels like the songs have a point. And I know that feels dumb to say, I don't know, a lot of musicals and a lot of Disney musicals sometimes feel like they have songs for the sake of songs. And that's totally fine. I have absolutely no issue with that. But in this musical, it's really nice to hear so many songs that feel like they're there for a reason. They're communicating something to me and they have a drive and point behind them none of them just feel like they've been slapped in there because they needed a song. These feel like story pushing character moments and that is fantastic. What can you do when you know who you wanna be isn't perfect? I absolutely love the messaging here. There's only a little bit left so I'll save it to the end but I just love hearing a song like this in such a popular piece of media. I'm just like swinging with this. So good. What a, what a voice. Absolutely adored that. What a great start. Here's what I was gonna say. I think in many things, particularly when it comes to things like self-improvement or even just like self-esteem, how we view ourselves. People have this very binary approach that often results in a strive for perfection. For a lot of people, you could be like perfectly happy in almost all of your life, but if you have that little bit where you're not, they'll consider you unhappy because for some reason we think of being happy as 100% absolutely perfectly happy and anything less, well, it's not good enough. And the thing is, no one's ever going to be perfect. Things aren't always going to be amazing and incredible. And to hear a song that's kind of like the person I want to be isn't perfect is so refreshing because I think a lot of people aren't going to attain their goals in that regard because their goals are unattainable. If your goal is to be a perfect person, you're never going to do it. And I wholly, from the bottom of my heart, believe that people should take pride in being the best version of themselves that they can be. Not even full stop, just at this current moment. Be the best version of you that you can be right now. That version can change, evolve, get better. But if you're always doing the best you can at that moment, given your circumstances, that is something to be proud of. Don't negate that because you're not this weird, idyllic version of perfect and happy. Anyway, that's my rant done. Let's move on to the next one which is called All of You. So this is a nice soft start. Look at this home. We need a new foundation. Oh man! <laughs> I was literally like, wow, this melody sounds really familiar. Where's that from? And my brain didn't realize that it was a reprise of the start of the family magical. So full of stars. Everybody wants to shine. I like the warmth to her voice here. Okay. I think it's time. This feels like we're gonna get such a nice vocal performance. I'm already into it. Just so afraid I'd lose you too. Oh, this is so sweet. All of you, all of you. Are we gonna 
talk about Bruno. <laughs> Always the Bruno references. Pepper, I'm sorry about your wedding. Didn't mean to be upset. That wasn't. Where'd this come from? What the hell? Let it rain, let it snow, let it go. That's what I'm always saying. <laughs> let it go. This is uh, so many different styles in such a short time. You're so strong. Yeah, but sometimes I cry. So do I. This is like totally the one of the ending songs, right? I also, like, you know, I had the plot spoiled for me by the comments in my last video on Encanto, but I do really enjoy that she kind of just doesn't get a gift. The fact that they deviated from that is nice, and it gives it this idea that, like, you don't need to have some, like, special thing about you or happen to you for you to be special. The impact you have and the way you choose to hold yourself is special, and I love that because I think a lot of people vastly underestimate the impact that they have and what they can do in life. I'm starting to sound like a motivational speaker, sorry. <laughs> She takes after you. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. More half time, dude. I, I don't know why I love it so much. It isn't perfect. Neither are we. That's true. That's what I was talking about before. Now see yourself in time. That's a really sweet sentiment. The amount of times I've had people express negative things about themselves, and I've just been like, man, I wish you could see yourself the way I see you. That was damn lovely. I find it fascinating and lovely that the messaging seems to be less like change yourself to be better and more just an acceptance of who you are and where you are. I am so into this, you'll have no idea. The next one is called Colombia Mi Encanto. Yes, sir. This is everything I didn't know I needed in my life. <laughs> I have to say I do like the slight change. While it feels like in general the lyrics have been a bit more coded and filled with double meaning and stuff. I love this one. It's just like, the night of the party! Everyone's going to celebrate! Everyone's coming have fun! <laughs> Dude. This is so fun. I love it. <laughs> it's just a song about loving Colombia so much. <laughs> Oh no, I can already tell it's gonna be in my head. I am absolutely loving the fact that it's fully in Spanish so far. When I was listening to the other songs, I was kind of expecting to hear at least one song, fully or mostly Spanish. And we haven't really had it yet, but this is a straight bop. Also, I've been learning Spanish for like, I don't even know how long now. My partner's from Argentina, so I've been learning it on and off for like years, but more seriously for like six months to a year. So this is a great exercise for me. <laughs> I'm so ready to hear that chorus again that is going to be the only thing I'm gonna be singing for like a week. I love the The kick drum just hits so different. I love this change in vocal delivery. This is like kind of up there as one of my favorites, I think, from this movie. My foot is going. I, ca I can't stop it from tapping. I'm sorry. That absolutely slapped. I love how much of a change that was too. It felt so different to everything else I've heard from this movie. It really feels like I'm hearing so much versatility. The last one we're gonna listen to is one that I've also had requested so, so, so many times. It's Dos... Orugitas? Orugitas? I can't even pronounce it. I was confused why Google was saying it meant caterpillars. I've just realized it's itas. Like, like small. <laughs> There's a butterfly. Thematic. Dos orugitas enamoradas. Such a cute little song. Siguen andando y navegando un mundo que cambia. <laughs> His face. Oh, they're so cute together. Dos orugitas para en el viento. This better not be sad. It feels like it's gonna be. Inseparables son 
Even the lyrics I'm understanding sound so damn sad. I'm gonna look up a translation. Oh my god, yeah, the lyrics are so depressing. And the lyrics coming up are even worse. You must grow apart and return, you'll keep moving forwards. Ah, I didn't mean to end this with sadness. Is he gonna leave? Oh, that's so sad. This is a heavy man. Like, so heavy. Wait, so what what happened to the guy? Oh, is that the grandmother? Giving a miracle. A second chance. Oh my god, it's her. You suffered so much all alone. So it would never happen again. I'm just so enthralled in this. Even the instrumental of this is lovely. Damn, that animation is gorgeous. Wow, it's a little bit heavy to end with, wasn't it? Although I guess it was uplifting at the end. <laughs> if that like story animation part had gone a bit longer, I think I would have cried. It was hitting me like that five minute section in Up. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so happy I did another part to this. I'm just left even more impressed than I was last time. Yeah, I took my little clip on turtle off because of the headphones. Everything was on point. I think it's so, so well done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time and I'll see you next. See ya.